Well, this is becoming an all too common story. And as a parent, I have to tell you, it's really disturbing. I'm sure you agree. Campuses turning into crime scenes. You just heard about that one in Louisiana. We've seen it at Virginia Tech where the gunman murdered more than 30 people last April. And of course, now Northern Illinois University just this week, Stephen Kazmierczak killing five people, then turning the gun on himself. Turns out that the gun dealer who sold handgun accessories to Kazmierczak, we should say not the actual guns used, is now speaking out. I, I was just shocked, absolutely 100% shocked. It's just, what are the chances like this that something like this could happen twice in, inside of a year's time? This, this uh, guy passed all the background checks and you can't stop a crazy person from doing crazy things is, is really the point here, I think. These tragedies are leading some to believe that violence could be stopped or at least less people killed if students and teachers were allowed to carry concealed weapons on campus, of course with a permit. Is it a good idea or do you think it would lead to more problems? Joining us now, Scott Lewis with Students for Concealed Carry on campus and the president of the Brady Center to Prevent Gun Violence, Paul Helmke. Thank you to both of you, Scott and Paul, for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Scott, let's be clear about what you're saying should happen. Under what circumstances do you believe permits should be issued for students and teachers to carry guns on campus? Well, basically what we're advocating is allowing the same individuals who are trained and licensed to carry concealed handguns in virtually all other unsecured locations. And by unsecured, I mean anywhere where there are not metal detectors and x-ray machines. These people are carrying at grocery stores, shopping malls, office buildings, movie theaters, churches, banks, etc. All we're saying is let these licensed individuals carry their concealed handguns on college campuses so that you'll, you'll stop putting the, these individuals at a disadvantage against dangerous criminals who have no regard for school policy or state law. Paul, let me ask you, I went to Scott's website, it's concealedcampus.org, and I found a statistic he has posted that says that concealed permit gun holders are five times less likely than non-permit holders to commit violent crime. So why not let people who qualify, students or teachers, to carry a gun concealed protect the rest of us? We, we've got an epidemic of suicide shooters out there. And the way to stop these suicide shooters is not to put more guns into the mix. It's to make sure these people aren't getting these. These are people that aren't deterred by uh, somebody with a gun. They want to be killed. They kill themselves pretty quickly. Adding more guns onto the campus, into the frat house, into the dorm room, um, into the bars with a group of students who drink a lot, uh, uh, have tensions, uh, fights with the, the girlfriends, uh, bad grades. That's just going to cause more violence. So well, what I, I we should, need to do is to stop this epidemic in the first place, but, not try to shoot them a little bit quicker. I should say that on Scott's website, it makes very clear that kids who drink should not have guns. And he, that's not what he and the organization right. are advocating. But but once, you put, once you put those guns into the college campus, into the dorm room, into the frat house, um, they're going to get lost. They're going to get stolen. They're going to get misused. They're going to be taken out of the backpack. Adding more guns into the mix is just going to make all of us more dangerous. And it's interesting, most states don't even tell you who has concealed carry permits. So to have any statistics that try to show that, uh, that these people aren't uh, committing the same crimes is, is ridiculous. There are stories every day let where me, someone with a concealed carry permit is doing a shooting. Paul, let me bring up with Scott that this, this particular killer who did commit suicide as well as take the lives mm -hmm. of five others, Scott had a permit. Well, no, he did not have a concealed handgun license permit. Well, he had, he had a permit to purchase these he firearms. Had an Illinois, he had an Illinois firearms owner identification card, which, which is which what he had the Brady campaign... At, what, which is what the Brady campaign advocates for all gun owners throughout the country, thinking that that's going to stop these kind of crimes, and it's not. The fact of the matter is that more guns is not a problem if those guns are in the hands of law-abiding citizens. And less guns is not a problem if those, I mean, less guns is not a solution if those guns are coming out of the hands of law-abiding citizens. The, the, the fact is that 11 U.S. campuses, including Colorado State University and all nine public colleges in the state of Utah, currently allow concealed carry on campus and have done so for a combined total of 60 semesters without an incident of gun violence, without a gun accident, without okay. a gun theft. Th this is not okay, causing problems. I, I, I'm Basically, up against a hard break. I'm so sorry. Scott and Paul, I want to no keep problem. this debate going. It's very important. Okay. Uh, I'm going to post a blog today at www.foxnews.com slash Colby Files, and I'd ask our viewers to weigh in by going online. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Kimberly? You. All right, and we'll be right back. You don't want to miss it.